How's it guys? As Ray said, I'm Mike. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about bronze bream today. The guys have asked me to do basically just the behavior and how we go about targeting. So, bronze bream, uh, also called pensanderums or bluefish. The scientific name Pachymetsopon grandi, which means uh, thick forward, as you see with the bronze bream, much like a lot of the other fish in the genus, it's got a very fat head right in the front. Uh, Grandi obviously being large, and that refers to it being the biggest fish out of that genus. In terms of uh, the fish itself, basically if you want to sum it up, it will be an East Coast Angler's Haoyun. So a lot of the guys in the Cape targeting the Haoyun, we have the Bronze Bream as our alternative. Uh, they inhabit more of the inshore water, so right close uh, within a casting distance normally, sometimes even closer. And they often get confused with the blue Hottentot, which is also called the Copper Bream. Now the difference between the Copper Bream and the Bronze Bream is obviously the overall shape of it. There's a slight stripe under the Copper Bream's eye, and the tail shape of the Copper Bream is a lot more forked, as opposed to the Bronze Bream has got a bit more of a beefier tail, if you want to call it that. Okay, feeding habits. Bronze Bream are herbivorous fish, which means they in essence are grazers. So much like a cow, they're going to be eating all the vegetation. Now, what they really enjoy eating is the red and green algae, which you, as soon as you find that, you know exactly how or where the bronze beam are going to be, because they feed on that as the tide comes in. They're very partial to, an, to a pushing tide, and that's when they come in and use their sharp teeth. If you've ever seen a bronze beam mouth, they've got very sharp incisors right in the front, and that's for gripping and ripping the weed off of the rocks. Now, they also do eat the little crustaceans and tiny little amphipods that occur in that. So that's how we assume that they'll then take a prawn bait instead of us having to resort to using actual pieces of weed. Um, as Dean Pretorius once described, there was a, a vegetarian with a taste for flesh. This is obviously how it goes. Shallow water, ideal location, stuff where you get a lot of rolling water. So it's a lot of oxygen in the water makes it a very favorable spot to target them but they have to be near rocks, because that's where all their food is based. So, as they migrate up and down the coast, they, you do sometimes catch them on a pure sandy beach, but the rocky ledges is where you're gonna to wanna to target them specifically. So guys, in terms of when you're looking for these bronze bream, the ideal time is low tide, or even better, spring low tide, because then you can see all the locations, because you're throwing very close, most of those locations are actually gonna be dry on a low spring tide. So you can see where that weed is, and you know when to target them. Then when you come on the incoming tide, you know exactly where to throw. You catch your bronze bream. As if you are gonna let them go, which we do recommend, you should let them go slightly further down the beach. But because the shoal is gonna be right there, if you either lose a fish or let your fish go right where you're fishing, it sprints off, hits into the shoal, and then everybody scatters. And then you have to end up moving down the beach to find them again. But once you've located them, it's fairly easy. You can catch 10 very quickly, have a lot of fun on your light tackle, and keep your two for the pot if you want. Uh, the bronze beam, on that note, is a very slow maturing species. They only mature at about 2 kilograms, about 45 centimeters. And they get to about 7 kilos, although you very much, you'll struggle to get one over 5. And that 7 kilogram fish will be over 60 years of age. So it's a very, very slow growing fish. So that makes it sensitive to overexploitation. Uh, the bronze beam is a very good eating fish. Um, can be prepared in many different ways, it's up to you. But with it being a very tasty fish, it does open it up to being overexploited, and therefore the stocks do sometimes tend to take a hammering. Guys, in terms of all your fish species, but in this week's particular, the bronze bream, a very good book to get hold of is Coastal Fishes of Southern Africa. It's by Phil and Elaine Hemstra. And in the book, they cover all your fish species you're likely to come across from the sharks right at the front through two bony fish in the back, and they give you a good summary of everything, including similar species, which is a very nice touch that they've done. So if you catch a fish, you don't know what, it looked very similar to that, you can often get a similar species that it could be, and you can look into that. And they list everything that you need and need to know. Available at Kingfisher. Guys, next I'm gonna run you through basically the tackle that I would use. You guys have seen what Ray uses in the footage. This is the kind of outfit that I would use uh, myself. Firstly, Excella, 10 foot 6. I like to go slightly longer than uh, Ray's 9 foot that he uses. This is, just allows me to cast a little bit further and allows me to, to get over the, the, uh, the ledges when you're pulling the fish in. 
Then match to that, I'd use the BG4000. With it being, you can go down to the three. I prefer the four, it's just easier for me to hold in my hand. Nice rubber handle, decent drag. You don't need uh, for the bronze beam really, but it's always nice to have if you do hook into that muscle cracker or something close. Uh, very smooth, works beautiful, and looks very nice. To that, I would put our 20 pound J braid. It's a very smooth casting braid and breaks well above its breaking strain. So that paired with, say, a 0.7 nylon leader and you are good to go. So that's all from me today, guys. Um, I highly recommend you get your light tackle, get out there, take your family with if you want, if you don't want to get away from them, and go out and experience bronze ring fishing. It's a lovely way of spending time at the beach and it's also a lot of fun on this light tackle. Cheers. Yeah, okay.